Hello my loves, and I say that to anyone who starts watching this after the fact because you'll see the beginning of it because I've gone live randomly. Um, I am doing my makeup for uh, the vegan queens um, who are filming this very afternoon. And I thought, Paul, you don't half like to talk, love. It's a fact. So why don't you just go live? And here we are. Siobhan, good morning, darling. I might turn, I might actually share this on Facebook. Um, let me go to YouTube, my own channel. The live and share. Chatting. Right now. There you go. Shared it on my own uh, Facebook page. So. Yeah, I'll um, I'll I'll tell you about the bits of makeup uh, as I go. Um, starting with the uh, terrible this camera. Well, it's, well, it's not. It's excellent, in fact. This is Cryolan. Cryolan TV paint stick. I was um, for years and years and years. I was a Max Factor girl. But of course, they're not vegan or cruelty free. And this stuff is uh, the next best, best thing I've ever come across. The coverage is fantastic. It's really, really, um, well, it's a pan stick. And, uh, and it is vegan and cruelty free, which is, of course, the main point. Um, it's not quite as creamy of max factor um pan stick this is a little bit chalkier would be the wrong word it's definitely drier but that's not necessarily a bad thing it still gives incredible coverage um so yeah so i'm not going to tell you anything about what the vegan queens have Coming up on their episode, I have been sworn to secrecy. So no spoilers here. But it's going to be a belting episode. It always is with the girls. They have a lot to say. And that's a good thing. People should have a lot to say in this day and age. There's my thumbnail. <laughs> oh, there's folk. Hiya. Yeah, I don't expect any... Um... Oh, well, thank you, Gemma Lulu. Uh, that's a lovely thing to say, but this is a very good camera. And um, my skin isn't really... I mean, I'm 51, so it's not bad. Uh, but yeah, I use the um, over 40s um, uh, day and night moisturizers from Superdrug in the silver pump bottles. Uh, I've used them for about about five years. And uh, they're great. They're just really good uh, moisturizers. So yeah, a bit like Lion King makeup. <laughs> right, here's where we start to rub it. Oh, it's actually really handy having the screen there as well. Actually. I've always been a fingertip applier. I've tried sponges. I can't. I, I can't. I just can't. It don't work for me as well as my fingers. Never has. So obviously I've just had a right good shave. 
and a moisturize. Oh no, the circular motions here. Under those eyes. I tell you what has been interesting, and I mean it really has. It's been very interesting putting makeup on the same face for 35 years and how that has uh, changed and how I've had to learn to work with creases and wrinkles and bags and, you know, and not having a 20-year-old or 30-year-old flawless skin anymore. Uh, but still trying to achieve a similar look to the looks I've always had. Oh, fidget blankets. Um, Siobhan, is that um, when I worked for uh, uh, Age UK, um, they had... What are they called? What are them things called where you put your hands in to keep your hands warm? Is it a muff? Anyway, they had them with buttons and baubles and knots and things on them. And I think that's a similar kind of thing Is that what you mean? Anyway, uh, for those of you who might just have joined us, I did say at the very start, I'm getting ready today for filming a Vegan Queens episode. And now and again, just now and again, when I'm doing my makeup, I like to do a live. Just randomly, out of the blue, for no particular reason, because I was sat here bored, I was listening to inspirational music on YouTube, it got to a sad bit, I felt a bit sad, I thought I'm doing a live. I'm not sad. Music has a massive impact on me. Could have just changed the channel, but no. Muffer, that's it. Have you watched It's a Sin? Oh, Jess. <sighs> yeah, all of it. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, but, you know, Russell T. Davis is a brilliant storyteller. You know why? Because he writes what he knows. Uh, it's such an important thing. And the scary thing about it is when the kind of, when it's the sin starts in kind of 81, I was there. I was 11 years old. I was on the gay scene. I was a rent boy. I was there. I never did any penetrative sex. <clears throat> Just hand jobs. Sorry, I'm going to be honest. It's my YouTube channel. I talk openly. Thank goodness that's all I did. Thank goodness. And I was I was talking to um, Stuart a few nights ago about it. And Jason, after, after we'd kind of finished watching it, the early 80s, I was always on the gay scene. From 10, age 10, to about 15. And then I had a break for a bit. Uh, anyway, um, so I worked with you know, all these people. I've told the story, I think, before about a lovely um, uh, Scottish working girl called Irene, who uh, felt a bit poorly one night and she asked if she could go and sit in the back seat of the car of um, one of the doormen at the Rembrandt. And um, he was called Brian, he was lovely. And she went and lied down in his car and she died. Uh, heroin. Heroin overdose. So that was a very prominent death on the gay scene. However, I do remember getting to know people 
and loving them, you know, they, be they, they became important people in my life, important friends I would see weekly and I enjoyed talking to and spending time with. And I do remember several people just disappearing. And it makes me wonder. So anyway, it's a deep one. What's next? I've got coffee. Well, you know, I think Tracy there just talking about her age. I actually think we get more beautiful. I now, although I've had to change the way I do my makeup. Um, I don't show you this, I'm still on it, uh, it's not vegan, Leishner stage makeup, uh, I bought it in bulk many years ago and this is my last tub and I refuse to, to throw it away, I've got um, Cryolan powder uh, waiting for when this one's done but I'm not, I'm not wasting, I'm not wasting a product because um, that's stupid. Uh, and it's very good stuff. It's I, I just wish it was vegan. This one, however, from um, Give Face Cosmetics. It's like a finishing powder. Uh, it is vegan and cruelty free. Very good. What was I saying? Yes. So. Although it was far easier to apply makeup with a tighter face, you know, with less excess skin, less bags, less wrinkles. I can love this face. I love this face. I love it. Did you, if you, I should have posted it on um, YouTube too. Do you know what I might do? Um, I shared a picture. Do you know what? Let's be freaky. I'll do it now live. I'll post it now live in the community thread on our channel. I wrote this thing the other day and it was a really, I, I, had, this, I had this picture in my phone from last week. Here we go. And I was looking at it and I kept thinking, Look at, I, I really do look like a, in that picture, even though I don't have a wig or anything, I thought, I really do look like, you know, a 50-year-old woman who's good at makeup. And then I thought, and do you know what? I'm really proud of that. And I'm proud that I've lived this life and that my life is visible on my face. I'm proud. I love that. I think that's a beautiful thing. Any road. So I shares this picture on uh, the Book of Faces. And this thing just came to me, Ed. And I've just shared it on the community tab. But I'll read it for you. I'm an older queen now at 51. I have lines, bags and wrinkles. Every one of them tells my story. My life has been beautiful and my youth fleeting. <laughs> I have five decades of stories to tell. Three and a half decades of drag on my face. I am beautiful and powerful and wise beyond my years. I am he, she, they them. I am me. I have lived a full life and I wear it on my face, in my lines, between my wrinkles. I wouldn't change a thing. And I really felt it while I wrote it and all. I love it when that happens. You know, like sometimes I write something to empower myself. That came from a place of empowerment, which makes it all the more uh, powerful. 
funnily enough. In fact, do you know what I need to do before I are we are we rubbed in? Are we are we adequately rubbed in? See, this is it. I get talking, and then I forget what I'm actually here for, and I make this. So I've got to do this whilst I talk to you, my darlings, and try and read. No, it's not going to be a quick vlog. Never is. But you know, people like these kind of vlogs where I'm just sat talking shit. And I love to be listened to. But being honest there, I love to talk. I love to talk. I love I love uh, self-analysis and uh, I love um, uh, uh, social psychology. And I love working myself out and what bothers me and what do I... And I love to share that. I love to talk. I love to talk. Right, what colour has that one had on it? I have no idea. Right. This is the um, give face, um, like highlighting powder. Yeah, my makeup's changed over the years as well. It was, um, it was, it was all. It was very easy to do at one point because I had a, I had a lovely, tight, taut face, you know, and. Um, so it's 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 definitely become uh, more difficult. And what I've what I have tried to do is kind of move with the times because I am a very eighties drag queen. I'm all about trying to look feminine rather than drag, you know. And um, That's got a lot more difficult, but it's still something I try to do. Um, just because I prefer it. I mean, there's a there's a lot of carbon copy drag queens right now who all kind of have this same. Uh, I mean, even I even I started to do wings when I can be bothered, but everybody does wings. Everybody does wings. Um, everybody wears massive eyelashes, like, and I've only ever worn half. Just halves. So I always cut them in half and just wear the outer bit and then blend my own eyelash into it. I've never wanted particularly to look like a, a drag queen. Do you know what I mean? Um, even though I quite clearly am, I, 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 I very much try to go the uh, feminine route. Um, I'm just going to copy this and because I'm being quite ignorant, haven't shared it on those vegan guys page. Oh, and you never know if somebody's sat at home bored watching bloody crap on telly what's depressing them. You know what I mean? So I might as well share it. Folk can come and have a bit of company because you're all chatting with yourselves and I love that. It's important. There we go. Shared all over the shop. Time. Oh, we're all right. Yeah, we're planning to kind of start filming, I suppose, between, usually between half 12 and 1. You need to pull your finger out, girl. I know. I know, love. Well, it's not one, no. I reckon I've probably got about 30 more uses in that, you know, just with that tiny bit. It's, it really is. It's just a, it's a, it's a sealant, you know.
<laughs> I can't be doing with sponges, Bobby. Can't be doing with them. I've tried. I've got a couple here. Do you know what I find them useful for? If I have a spill or something, just wet it and poke it onto the, and it gets it off. So I use them for that, but I can't use them to apply. I just can't. I'm not doing that shit. It's not for me. Uh, right. Uh, I'm clinging on to this here. Uh, NYX uh, Jumbo uh, pencil. I've got a brand new one. Uh, I bought one uh, just to back it up. Vegan and cruelty free. And it's a really good white eyeliner, but it's dead funny because it's all solid plastic. So when you buy it, that's that's the makeup bit at the end of there. That's the actual makeup bit. And then I've managed to kind of sharpen it down a bit. But then I'm like, so is all that just plastic? Then. Because it this is it's solid. You know what I mean? It's solid plastic. Anyway. So my inner eyelid. I've always worn white eyeliner on my inner eyelid. Always. Ever since being a little girl. Of course, my... When I was a kid learning how to do makeup, there's no YouTube. Um, You know, there was no... There was nothing. Uh, I learned from the uh, Marilyn Monroe posters on my wall. And then, you know, it kind of evolved. I'd see the shape on someone's eye, the shape of eyeshadow, and I got that there was a very kind of easy way to tackle it. You know, that it's like the lighter colours always go on the inside of the eye. The darkest colours always go on the outside of the eye and in the socket line. Light colours above. And that kind of classic routine has stuck with me all these years. Hey, I tell you what, she's got some stories to tell that in Gemini. I was telling Jason about one the other night. He knows it anyway, he knows the he knows the story well. Um oh goodness me. There's all sorts going on here. Where's the buddy? Um Gemini has had a fight. A proper fist fight with a landlord of a pub. She was DJing there. And she was getting all this attention off this guy. Right, leave that one out. That one. Any road ends up landlords all over him. So Gemini gets quite territorial. Ends up having a fist fight with a landlord, telling him to shove his job up, job up his ass. Walks home. This is when I was at college. Walks home about a mile and a half. So angry. This is the horrible part. She's not the lady you think she is. Pisses herself on way home. Because she's busting her. She just thinks, right, piss it. Piss it. Gets home. And, I, and then wig off. Gone. I've got to deal with consequences. Rude. I might put that on. Right. Check out the right colour then. Panics a bit. Oh, Rebecca, oh, let me just read. 
Sorry, Sean, for distracting you. Um, Rebecca, I uh, only really kind of learned how to do uh, wigs this year in lockdown. I've always been able to zhuzh them up a bit, but uh, through watching James Mansfield on um, YouTube, he, she's good. She's taught me loads. So, uh, yeah, I've managed to... Um... Hey, Linda, you never know. You know what that Gemini's like. And my asthma, they might both end up down there in summer. Because they're crazy. Excuse me. Bad habits die hard. Right. I've got that one. Then I want that one. I'll have to give my eyebrows a right good pluck this morning as well. Oh, they were a shocking. I've not done them for a couple of weeks. You know, all the bits kind of here underneath. So that's something I don't... Um, usually do to any like major tune as well i don't I, I i i usually try to just use my own eyebrow and darken it a little bit um a lot of people draw on really big eyebrows uh but it looks amazing i mean you, i'm not dissing it it looks fantastic it's illusion um People have always said, when you're Gemini, I can still see Paul. And I'm like, well, good. Good. That were a right nice coffee, that. Right. Oh, fuck's sake. Well, that's not good, is it? Last. Purple and then black. And then what I always do, because it works for me, you know what I mean? Is you see this little thing, it's like it's like a little um, sponge, an art sponge, very hard. Oh, it's very hard. Uh, and that's for blending them into each other. You know, giving them a bit of a buff before you put your shadow on. I don't know what the open mouth thing is. And neither do women the world over, or drag queens, but we all do it. Okay, Hunty. Um, should I break out my new palette again? <clears throat> yeah. Sorceress by Jolie Beauty. Gorgeous. So they fell for it the second I saw it. So I bought it. Well, technically, I didn't. <clears throat> um, right. Haven't quite got the hang of these glitter eyeshadows yet. They're, um, they're quite hard to put on. Uh, 
I think they're full of a lick, I think. Oh yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Lick. The glittery ones need a bit of wet, I feel. Can you see that? It's lovely. This is spirit. She ended up ingesting though doing this. Oh, got any uh, Josh Groban fans in the house? I was very surprised the other day to uh, hear him covering um, Angels by Robbie Williams. Very well, of course. I mean, it's Josh Groban. I remember, do you know the first time I heard Josh Groban sing, it was on an episode of uh, Ally McBeal. That shows how long ago that was. Singing You're Still You. In an episode of Ally McBeal. I collapsed to my knees. Stood up, I was stood up and I collapsed to my knees, actually physically collapsed to my knees. Bloody love that. Why have I put that away, am I stupid? See, I'm busy talking. Right, what have I done with that? Can I use the other side of that? Of course you can. Use what you want, it's your house. So black glittery. Oh, she's going. She's going brave. So there's a little dot out there, just a tiny little dot out there like that. I want man going to all this bloody trouble. You can't even see it when I'm on camera properly. You, do you know what I mean? You can't see the intricacy of it. So it's like, what are you doing, girl? <clears throat> Wasting bloody time. <clears throat> um, oh, what am I doing? Right, white time. My lovely daughter, my asked me for bought me this sugar pill. White. Oh, it's good. So good. No wetness needed. It's just a really bloody good white. Ah, and Gemini's always loved a good white there, right there. It begins the eye. <laughs> begins.
So we're very much looking forward. I'll talk TVG for a minute, shall I? Very much looking forward to going, hopefully, back down to the allotment this weekend, weather permitting. <laughs> Siobhan, bless you. Thank you, my darling. This is it. A little chick. Have you seen Robert Welsh? His looks are stunning. I haven't. I haven't. Shannon, have you not tried tofu? We've got loads of tofu recipes on this channel. We had it the other night, didn't we? Crispy baked chili beef tofu. It was bloody gorgeous. Um, but any kind of crispy baked tofu is gorgeous if you do it right. If you do it right. Uh, right. Ha, are you done with that now? Because you, you seem to put it away over there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to use that for the under. I'm going to go back to my, another favourite palette of mine, uh, Tammy X Revolution Vegan and Cruelty Free from Superdrug. And some of the colours in here are just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Like this very light lilac, which I like to put in there. Just in there, just touching the white. And it can start my eyebrow off. Do you see? Like that. Nice. Are you alright? Well, I'll make another cut. You can hear me. I'm, I'm shouting from over there. Um, if you're enjoying the video, would you mind giving it a quick like, my darlings? Because not everybody has. And uh, and it will help the video to propagate across YouTube. You is well. It'll be great. Gonna have a whole world on a plate. Starting here, starting now, honey, everything's coming up roses. Clear the decks. Send a fax. <laughs> we got nothing to do but relax. So you can see the shape so far. See what's happening? You see what's happening? And then I might do a little wing. And then I need to darken in the socket line. And white above here. And then just finish off my natural eyebrow. I might go slightly above. Just slightly. So for those of you that don't know, Superdrug do a fabulous uh, range of makeup. Now you've still got to check, um, you've still got to check the cases and everything because not everything is uh, vegan and cruelty free, but many, many, if not most things are. Um, I've got absolutely loads and loads of Superdrug uh, products. Um, as I said, uh, earlier to the lovely lady who complimented my skin. Um, the moisturizers from Superdrug are fantastic. Uh, I've used them for years, but also 
um, just so much of their makeup range, you know, and the palettes in particular. They do some great palettes. And it's although, you know, I'm a bit of a messy queen because it's like I got this palette for those two colours that have been decimated. So I've used the green, I think, once on something. Um, but it was those two colours. I'm a, I'm a purple addict. I love purple. Love it. Just love it. <sighs> Paul, I have logged your tofu recipe video and I'm going to try it out very soon. They have tofu salad. Well, if you do, are you talking about the crispy baked tofu? Because don't forget you can do tofu scramble as well, which is bloody gorgeous. Uh, as a meal in itself, if you stack it with veggies and have it with pita bread, it's a beautiful meal. Um, but the crispy baked tofu, the trick is to press it well, then marinate it well in really good, strong flavours, then corn flour and bake. That's the best tip I can give you. Like the other night when I did the uh, crispy baked tofu, I put um, in a bowl, uh, and I ain't going to lie, put a tablespoon of oil, extra virgin olive oil, a tablespoon of mushroom-flavoured soy sauce, uh, about half a tablespoon of white rice vinegar, a beef style oxo cube, the new vegan ones, about half a teaspoon of hot chili powder, and uh, a good slug of um, a good slug of um, Maggie liquid seasoning. And then I put the pressed cubed tofu in there, left it in the fridge for about an hour, kept turning it every now and again. So all the sides got everything. Most of the liquid got suck, sucked up, soaked in, poured off a little bit of excess, sprinkled corn flour, turned them over, sprinkled more corn flour, baking tray, oven, mouth. Delicious. Me and Jay were saying last night, actually, just last night, what did we have last night? Oh, we had uh, baked potatoes last night with tuna and hummus that I made yesterday. Um, and uh, we were talking about, I, I, because this week I've done really well. It's like I've done green lentil, uh, brown lentils, a batch of. I've done the gardener's, um, the lentil gardener's pie. Jay's took it for lunch today. I've got it for lunch. Mum had it last night, loved it. We had it the night before for our dinner. Gorgeous. Uh, and I've got enough lentils left over to do a big pasta sauce using the lentils as the kind of mince, if you like. Um, and I was saying to Jason last night, all of this food from like, you know, two big meals and both batch meals, the pie and the pasta, will be batch meals from one batch of lentils. Um... The hummus, the tuna, and the Spanish chickpea stew to come from one batch of chickpeas. I, I said to Jay, I wish I did. I wish I'd have got my head around all this years ago, being a vegan. Um, and he said he jumped in and said, Well, look at tofu. At the start of our vegan journey, we were like, it's a block of thrush. We're not going near that. Sorry, if that grows to anyone out. Love it now. Love it. Love tofu. So does Jason. Oh, have a great day, Siobhan. Bye, love. It's a nice little twist on the uh, Spanish chickpea stew, my darling, Deborah. Down good. Well, it took us a while to demystify the tofu for ourselves, to be honest. It's um, it is a, it's a tough ingredient and, you know, right, are you going to be brave and do a little wing or are you not going to bother?
will do me. That'll do me, Carol. A little bit of uh, liquid eyeliner on top, and just a tiny wing, just a, a really tiny one. Uh, I'm going to just bring that black down to meet that black because this one's a bit bolder. Let's see if you get that nice fade. The light, darker, dark. Oh. Everything's coming up roses. Oh, Naomi, we do too. It's um, we we we're, we're still missing uh being out there, and um, you know, just living life and seeing other humans and interacting with them and smiling at them and you know um, yeah. Missing, missing life terribly uh, and eating out the occasional lunch in Manchester, always such a treat, whether it be VRF or um, uh, Earth Cafe, which is now something else. It's shut down as Earth Cafe, which first, like, first thing, oh, no, I don't suppose it is really. I cried. Oh, no, no, I've cried when a few places have shut down, to be honest. I cried when uh, Earth Cafe announced that they were not reopening. Um, yeah, it, um, that got me because I was always fighting for them because I totally get that everyone loves V-Rev. I, I, I completely get it, I do. But there were times when we were in Manchester and we walked past V-Revs and it was packed to the rafters and then we went to cafe earth and there was nobody in there and i always felt dead bad for them for that because it had bloody good wholesome vegan food at cafe earth. i never left feeling hungry or dissatisfied never so yeah it was uh that was a bit upsetting Just a little wing, a little baby wing. I love doing my makeup and talking to you guys. You know, it's this fit. This is lovely to me. Oh, the, the honestly, the lentil gardener's pie. The first time I started using brown lentils, and I just and here's the reason I'm proud of it. It was it was inspired by. Uh, an existing um, pie. Was it Kirsty's? I can't, we got given, you'd have to go back and check the um, Holland and Barrett vlog, but we got given these frozen meals by Holland, Holland and Barrett, our local branch. Anyway, could, could we get rid of them? We tried this one and it was lentil shepherd's pie with a, a sweet potato top completely sweet potato and it had other other than lentils it had things like kidney beans and things it was delicious and i said to jay hey i would have never thought of that using lentils instead of mince cut her ear now 
Um, and then I said, I'm going to try that. But I'm going to mix white and sweet potato for the top. And I'm just going to do what I would classically do with soya mints, which is um, a finely chopped carrot, finely chopped onion and mince and, you know, all your flavourings and everything. I'll do that with lentils. Uh, and, and then we tried it and we were both like, that is delicious. My mum loves it. She's not a vegan. She loves that meal. And I always make sure I give her a ragged big portion because she doesn't eat great sometimes. Uh, but considering it's like 95% vegetable, 97% vegetable on the plate, probably about 98.5 actually. All that's in there is flavourings, you know. Powders and things. Look at these cheeks. Never used to have these. And all these lines. That one says, he, this girl's lived. And this one here says, done some amazing things. And this one here says, I've been to some incredible places. And all these wrinkles around my chin say, God, I've laughed. Hmm. Oh, look at me having a moment. Lovely. So, black now in the socket line. Uh, intentionally Kimberly, do you see how I've started them off with that line of eyeshadow there? And then I'll basically finish that off with a pencil once I've done the the eye sculpting that I'm about to do. Now it's all about the socket line right now, which meets the wing. Do you see? Do you see? The socket line meets the wing. <gasps> so we get that nice and dark in there. Particularly in this outer bit here. Doesn't matter so much about down there, ignore down there. Just in there. See, and then the shape starts to come out, do you see? Oh, what for? Somebody's talking about using pencil. What for eyeshadow? I can't use pencil for eyeshadow. I like my powders. In a lot of ways, I'm stuck in my ways. Oh, thank you, Deborah. Big hugs back, my darling. Thank you. Yeah, in a lot of ways, I'm uh, I'm stuck in my ways. Um, but they're undamaging stuck in my ways. You know what I mean? So I I I, I let them be. Uh, if they were damaging to me in any way, or held me back. I would fight them, but they're all right. If I genuinely, honest, honest truth, if I was or identified as fully female, I'd probably wear makeup every day. Maybe only a smattering. I wouldn't take this amount of time and effort. 
Oh, I'll bother the way over it. Hello. 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 So we sang a nice song to me. That's nice, isn't it? You be swell. Okay. Right, that's not quite right, is it, love? That one's a bit higher. So. We need to fix that before we move on. A bit rounder, and a bit higher. That's, that's better. Right, now a bit more of this gorgeous purple, except the darker one, to blend that in, not make it look quite so abrupt, and bring the purple in there. Sun just stopped blazing in, which it was doing. And now it ain't. Mind I've got the curtain shut, so it was it was coming through the curtains. Okay. Nice one again to just drop in there and blend in there as well. <sighs> Back to the sugar pill. first it's funny as well you know i always used to it's like i always used to think that you know do do my makeup really close up was the thing too but it's not really it's um actually looking at a distance helps Barely a hint. Cousins, not sisters. And then my delicious white. Over the top. Some 
a blend it out in a sec. Pack it down there. Pack it down there like one of Lipton's. And while I'm there, a little bit back there to just brighten it up because it dulled a bit because of all the other colours. Now then, we're all living in loungewear right now. I get forced to do this once a part now. Um, yeah, this one will do. That'll do. That ought to do it. Right. I lost John. Thinking about call my asthma and tell her it might be just a little later than half twelve for me. She knows, she's not that. That was all last week's glue. Well, two weeks ago was glue. Right, they're ready to uh, glue on. Conversation in this chat's going all over the place. Gardening and mergers and all sorts. It's lovely to see. Can you excuse me while I, I'm sorry, I'm an older lady now and I don't have quite as strong a pelvic floor as I once did. It means I need a wee. This is what you go from two coffees. Yes, the eyes will do, the eyes will do. They will immediately look better once I've got my eyelashes on. It's always the case. Oh, I'll tell you what's uh, back on UK TV. Um, we don't watch a lot of telly, you know, anymore. 
at all. But we've still got some things series linked. Um, long lost family. Devoured three episodes in the last two days. I love it. One ah, 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 ah. Hey, if anyone's got um oh see this is where I fall down. I don't know whether it's Netflix or Amazon. But there's a film on there called Alien Code on one of them. Don't let the name put you off if you come across it. It's bloody good, really good. And there she is. With the eyelashes, but I'll blend them in now, of course, with um mascara girls trust me believe me when i say um what's this one called blowout revolution blowout mascara hemp mascara oh it's good i love a good mascara me and this one's cracking really really good as you'll see in a minute i'll just let them dry for a sec and then i'll do the um i'll do the you know you know the bits you know so i see it see i mean I, this eyebrow always looks more right i follow the natural line of my eyebrow so i've just got one naturally higher but i just go with it do you know what i mean rather than like drawing on fake ones um i just go with it Yeah. I am, however, going to try and just curve that one round and up just a smirch. Just a smirch. And maybe bring this one down just a smirch. Cousins, not sisters. Uh, right, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I might as well be doing some... You got that out for the white, you definitely can. Honestly. Honestly, Gemini. Is that one I normally use? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Excuse me.
It's an actual daylight here as well. See how good you look then, Karen. Oh my god, terrible. See, this is why we like artificial light, drag queens. Look at that. Well, what a bit of natural light does. Mind you, I'll be under proper lights when we're filming. You know, proper lights. Um, right, do you want any highlights? Yes, I'll have some if it's going to go. Um, that No, but seriously though. Oh, it's right there, you don't care. So formerly Kat Von D Beauty, now um, KVD, Vegan Beauty, uh, Tattoo Lip Liner. Bloody love it. Use lip liner all my 35 years of drag. Best I've ever used, actually. You know, it's about 39 years of drag. If you can, the first time I did Ilda Ogden in a kids' fans dress competition. And I do count that. So, you know. Oh. Here we go.
and uh, I shall leave um, the lipstick for the final step just before. Hi! Karen, I'm here in the lab. <laughs> I won't be long, love. I think everything's laid out and ready. On series done, take me like five minutes. Um, but I just wanted to fancy doing a lab makeup. Shut up, you, anyway. Shut up, you. Bleeding my asthma. Always coming around here, stinking up the place. My asthma, see. Foul smell. That's right. Let's get all this put away. Anyway, you're early. It's only 20 past. I said half past. Right, got these out. I might just leave my powder brush out actually, just in case I need to have a need to powder my nose, you know, at any point. Just dab a bit on now. Right, as soon as wig's on, I'll be gone. She'll be here. Um, so, uh, I'm going to bring this to a close, my darling. Thanks for joining me, though. Thanks for popping along, having a chat uh, with me. Maybe I should change the thumbnail to the finished product, because then people might be more inclined to stay and watch how it was done, instead of just me with a load of brushes at the start. You know what I mean? Um, so right, loves. Oh, you're so lovely. Thank you so, so much. So yeah, hair, wig, jewels. Luckily, none of that takes too long. And then Gemini and my asthma can get to recording this week's episode of Ladies of Lockdown. So, all of you that have joined me for this, oh, thanks for coming, keeping me company. Seriously, that was really lovely of you. Because now and again, <laughs> what I was going to say then was basically paraphrasing a movie. You know, the end of um, Labyrinth. When she's back home and she's looking in the mirror and she can, they're all behind her and she, they're all saying, should you need us? And she says, I do need you. I need you all. Sometimes in my life, for no particular reason whatsoever, I need you. Ta -da. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and I hope if you watch this after the fact and you're an older girl like myself with beautiful lines and wrinkles that tell your amazing story, that this has given you a few tips on how to accentuate them. And um, whether you wear makeup or not, you're beautiful. Never forget that. Uh, and I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you for joining me. Be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye.